Hey guys, welcome back to this bonus episode of The Well-Rounded Dude. My name is Chris, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we cover a whole bunch of topics and we're gonna talk about the elephant in the room. Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Okay, so let's get a couple things straight. Both men are wrong. You shouldn't make fun of somebody's appearance. You shouldn't slap somebody for a joke. Both men are wrong, it's horrible, but Let's talk about it a little bit more. People are making a case that Chris Rock is a comedian. You know, you have to expect that he's gonna say some crazy stuff. And to a point that's true. But at some point, you have to be decent about it. And picking on somebody's appearance, we now know that uh, Jada has alopecia, I'm sure he knew about it. It's a low blow. Then you have Will Smith on the other side defending his wife by slapping Chris Rock. That's not good. Violence is never the answer. I don't advocate for violence. But in my personal opinion on this whole thing, from the joke all the way until Will Smith sitting down, this is a perfect example of free speech. Free speech, you can say what you want. You are free and clear to do so. But there are repercussions for what you say. But also remember too, guys, just because you can say something doesn't mean you should. And if you are gonna say it, expect repercussions. You know, Chris Rock had every right to say that joke, albeit in bad taste. Will Smith, had every right to defend his wife. He should not have put hands on him, but he did. It's a consequence. Unfortunately so, there are consequences for the consequences. So just because you can say something doesn't mean that there aren't gonna be consequences for those words and then consequences for your actions. So it's a perfect example of free speech. Just remember, you may have the right to say something, but should you? So now let's look at it from Will Smith's perspective. He should never have laid hands. There are a, a lot of better ways that he could have handled the whole situation. He could have talked to Chris Rock afterwards. I know tempers are flaring at that moment. He was angry, he was mad, but he could have handled it a lot better. Violence didn't need to happen. He could have talked to him, but I get it. You know, dropping the F-bomb in the middle of, oh, he did it twice, <laughs> from the audience. You know, most people would have said that that's enough, and they're probably right, but again, tempers flare up. So definitely, unless your life is in danger, do not, I repeat, do not throw hands on somebody. That is not just for words. That's not an appropriate response. Now let's look at the rest of the situation. Obviously Chris Rock wasn't hurt, like physically. I mean, he was, he definitely was slapped, but um, he got right back up and continued his monologue, his, his speech after having a few words with Will. Um, he was not injured per se, okay? So I really think that we are making a bigger deal out of this than it should be. We don't need to keep harking on this. I also want to remind people, good people make bad mistakes sometimes. You know, something. sometimes they do things that are out of their character. They make a mistake that they really regret instantaneously. And in the heat of the moment, you know, you may not be able to get your words together. I mean, I know I've made some mistakes before where I, you know, instantly regret something and it's hard to get your words together. 
And I think that's the case with Will Smith and Chris Rock too. I will say that both men have apologized now. Now, Chris Rock, I have not seen that from a news source. I've seen it online or at least I've heard about it. So I, I don't want to confirm that he did, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's factual that he apologized for the joke and that he feels bad and that he apologized to Jada. I don't think he apologized to Will, but he really didn't need to, to be honest. But Will apologized to Chris and everybody involved. And I think we have to remember that sometimes people make mistakes. And, you know, sometimes it's a bad mistake. Does that mean we have to hold it over their head forever? I don't think so. It's also worth noting that this wasn't a real fight, per se. You know, still horrible. We're not getting getting away from that. It was a terrible act, but this wasn't a, a continued fight where Will Smith just continued to beat down on Chris Rock. He got up, he did what he thought was right in the moment, even though we all know it's not, and he turned around and walked away. You know, there are worse incidents where people are very violent and, and get upset and they just keep keep it on. But that's not what happened here. This was, I'm upset. He showed how upset he was in a wrong way, albeit, but showed how upset he was, turned around and walked away and sat down. We have to remember, again, that good people make bad mistakes. So what can we learn about this incident? Well, I would like to think both sides we can learn a lot from both Chris Rock and Will Smith. Chris Rock took the slap, continued with what was going on, what you know, finished the business that he had to do, and conducted himself as a gentleman. The joke wasn't gentlemanly, but um, he handled it like a gentleman afterwards, walked away. <clears throat> Will Smith apologized to people. I, he's getting some slack for not apologizing, bleh, apologizing to Chris Rock sooner, but tempers are high. He did apologize, realized the error of his ways, and he has accepted responsibility. So that's what I think you guys should be able to take away from this. You may make a mistake, but man up, take responsibility. And just because somebody else is acting a fool, doesn't mean you have to act a fool right back. You can handle yourself with dignity and just understand sometimes that people are going to act a fool and no matter how much you want to respond in, in a negative way, don't because you'll just bring yourself down. And I think, uh, you know, if Chris Rock had responded in a negative way to it, you know, he wouldn't have as much support as he does now. Another thing I want to encourage you guys to do is learn some kind of self-defense because nobody should lay hands on you. But if they do, you want to make sure you can protect yourself and defend yourself and the people that is around you, the people you care about. And also take a note from Will Smith's playbook as well. Defend the people you love, you know. Now, be it, you don't have to use hands. You can use words. but don't let other people take advantage or, or be mean or say things about the people you care about. You can defend them, but hopefully do it with words, not fists. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this bonus episode of The Well-Rounded Dude. Uh, just had to get my thoughts out there. Uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it down in the comments. Please, if you disagree, let me know. I'd love to have, you know, a conversation about this. I think it's an important topic, you know. Uh, one is being a little blown out of proportion, but still, it's it's important to talk about what we saw. Um, but yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things, ring the bell, help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to check out the wellroundeddude.com. Dude15 gets you 15% off your total purchase, and I will see you guys tomorrow Okay, so you get two videos this week, guys. Two videos, all right? Now, 
Take care. Peace.